Spoken for Communications previews the first matchup between North Carolina Central and Charlotte coming up this Saturday from Jerry Richardson Stadium in the Queen City. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, joined alongside the interim head coach of the Eagles, Dwayne Foster. And coach, a win is a win is a win as we look back at St. Aug. Absolutely. We're excited to get our first win of the season at home and I and, uh, thought we had a lot of good fight you know, at the end there and looking forward to, to moving on to Charlotte this week. You know, one thing I forgot to ask you about was the overtime where Michael Jones intercepted the pass, returned it all the way to the two. That's a young defensive back that made a big play at a big time. In, indeed, indeed. And it's funny, you know, I was talking to Mike throughout the game because he struggled. You know, I was trying to uh, keep his head up. Yeah, he, he struggled making some plays uh, throughout the game. And, and uh, just had him just keep fighting, man, keep fighting. And uh, he did just that. He was in the right place at the right time. And, I, and, and I, we talked about all the time, you know, being in the right place at the right time and, and what can occur, good things can occur when that happened. But uh, I told him next time, give me those next two yards. <laughs> <laughs> Other, others that struggled that came back strong Oleg Parent missed a, an extra point not all his fault and a field goal certainly I know he's upset about that but he came back got the extra points we needed kicked the game winning field goal again once again a lot of resolve from Oleg uh, to be able to come back focus a little more especially uh, the kick to take us to overtime in addition to the game winning kick and then Jordan Reed didn't look spectacular all game long but that last drive in regulation 10 plays, 54 yards, and you talked about this in the post game. He's special. I think he showed it there. He did. He did. He rallied uh, our offense, uh, used his legs quite a bit to, to, to make that happen. And, and we know he can run. You know, he's a runner, and sometimes we have to encourage him to, to take off and run when, when things break down uh, or, or, or if they're allowing that space for him to, to take off. You know, and we also have some design runs for, for Jordan as well to run. So we, we, we like to take that as an, use that as an advantage. And, uh, again, he did some really good things late in the game for us. Charlotte has certainly put up the numbers in the first two ball games against Campbell and Shawan. When you see that and you see the film, what do you see from Charlotte? Uh, they're explosive. They're explosive offensively. They like to uh, up the t see the tempo up and, uh, and move the ball and spread things out to be able to, to move the ball. So we definitely have to eliminate the big play uh, on, on defense there. And, and when you look at them defensively, they run around extremely well. All right? Run around very active defense and not looking to read and react. They just want to get upfield and, and make something happen. And that's something that I also bring up. 41 nothing is the, their score in two games through the first quarter. And you talk about explosive. They've had some explosive plays in the first quarter. Interception 46 seconds into their first game. Kickoff returns here and there. Big plays on offense. So, again, it's, I think if we can go in, settle in, and keep them from making big plays in the first quarter, it's certainly going to make things interesting. Yes, we definitely have to eliminate the big play. And, and we have to you know, move the ball offensively and make, create some big plays for, for ourselves as well. And uh, defensively, we just got to contain them. We got to keep everything in front of us and, and first and foremost stop the run because you know, they're running the ball pretty well there and, and eliminate that big play to put ourselves in, in good situations throughout the game. Yeah, and that's the thing, you bring up us. I feel like just seeing how we've been playing, you saw some big plays from us. Lamar Scruggs with the big touchdown to get us on the board. And then Kevin Thompson busted to run out for, for 34 yards on that same drive. Adrian Wilkins had a 30-yard play. So we've made a few big plays ourselves, and we can do that as well. Yes, Chris. Again, key words for us, consistency and finishing. We have the, uh, the ability to, to create those big plays. We have the ability to drive the football. We have the ability to, to make stops on defense and, and play sound special teams. Now it's just a matter of focusing on consistency and finishing. And that's been the message this week as you get ready to take on Charlotte? Absolutely. It's been a message in our team meeting. It's been a message that our, our coaching staff is relaying to our, our players in position meetings. And uh, that'll be our focus as we, as we head into Charlotte for sure. Defensively, you know, again, you talk about some of the youth that you have. I feel like last, the, that, that last contest against St. Aug is a good wake-up call and a good situation for them to, to get in and see how it, how it goes. And the game may slow down for them this week. Indeed. Not only is it a wake-up call, I think that uh, they grew up a little bit. And that's what you want. You want to give them, uh, put them in situations and opportunities where they, where they can grow up. And, and I think they have. And just looking at, going back and looking at the film and things such as that, we were in better positions at times uh, as well. But the more you play, the more they grow up, the more they learn to, uh, to be in better positions and, 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 and to make plays when needed.